Automated status report, that sequence, multiple scans attempts rejected from source, new tuning configuration, uh, approximate, and that's just gibberish. <laughs> nice. Hoppy, I gotta ask, were you around when the old wall was nearly breached? You want to know if I was involved? Seriously? I mean, sure. No one knew more about where anomalies came from than you. Heck, I mean, you know, the only reason anyone knew anything about anomalies was because of the research branch that you all started to build. Yes, and we developed ways to prevent anomalies, not create them. You can't prevent something if you don't know where it's created in the first place. So you did pick up a thing or two around us, scientists. Once again, a situation I couldn't hear because I was distracted by bunnies who, oh, coincidentally just happened to show up. Annoying little shits. This is a weird generation. about anomaly prevention. You fought uphill the entire way. Never thought I'd see the day where you'd sugarcoat anything coming out of your mouth. The Harmonic Disruption Research Lab was an abject failure. No, I wasn't involved, but I stood by and let it happen. By that point, the Lint Project was in a bad way. Either it found a breakthrough and justified the government resources it was sucking up, or the entire project was put down. Everything depended on this technological quantum leap that evaded us for decades. In response, all good sense went straight out the window. For every wonder pulled out of thin air, limb technology conjured increasingly greater horrors. But it was done in the name of progress, and we were powerless to stop it. The Harmonic Disruption Research Branch was all I could do to soften the atrocities Arda unleashed in the name of progress. I tried to clean up my mess, but I failed. Damn. She was just as much of a victim as anybody else, unfortunately. Took advantage of her every step of the way. No, no, no! Damn it, I wanted to run you over! You little shit! No! I guess that worked out. What is that thing? Oh, it's one of those things. What the hell? Turn off. One of those things not happening. You're not stealing my door. They're everywhere! Okay, it didn't successfully grab it. Huh. Oh, you little shitter. Thanks, would have been like nice to hear that, you freaking jackass. Here's what it really means. Downhill we go. Whee! Oopsies. This is just dandy. I accidentally flipped my car. That's a rarity that I actually flipped the car.
You little shit! Seriously, why can't I shoot you little fuckers? It'd be nice to blow you to pieces. I'd like to see you pop. Lego! Yeah, that was pitch black. I turned on the light too late. It's straight in the middle of the road. Okay, that wouldn't just dead stop me like that, that tiny of a pool. A lot of goddamn hot dust. There went some tourists and another one of those douches. Yeah, no, you're trying to go to my car. Seriously, why does it do that? I'd like to hear some of those. You freaking Screw off, you little shitters! Why not even get attached to that thing? Seriously, let me have a gun and blow them up! But no! We can use the limb for improved electroplating, bond metals like we've never had before. It's a revolution. It's a revolution. Oh god, my hand. Oh boy. Of course, I got an error with my car. I have three problems all of a sudden? Damn, that's fast. This part of the zone is unstable and pulling every single anchor will cause an oak atmospheric shift. Huh. That actually sounds interesting. It's one of those things. I haven't seen one of you guys in a long time. Oh no! Okay, that was a joke that went out of control real fast. <laughs> So it will cause an atmospheric shift. What does that entail exactly? I'm rather intrigued with this one. Some of them are pretty self-evident and explanatory, but this one I'm genuinely intrigued about. Is it going to make it so that everything gets irradiated or what? Ugh. I've got no clue. Let's find out! Oh god, what the hell? Did I just get thrown right into the middle of a gale storm? Did it just... Yeah, it just appears right on top of you. That's dandy. So it, it appeared right on top of the anchor. Is it, like, just a fixed... Is it just fixed right there, or...? Because it obviously centralized around the car. Nope! Well, damn it. How did that crack my front windshield? Well, to be fair, I'm surprised more things haven't cracked it from when I'm crashing and stuff. That crack is not an issue at all, actually. That is, though. Okay, that was successful. Never mind, asshole turned last second, went straight for me. Go screw yourself over. Oh yeah, I can remove stuff without getting electrocuted now. Hey, hey, insulated gloves. Uh, I need a, I need a sealer kit. Do I have one? I don't remember if I do. I genuinely, no, nope, I do. Cool. This fix the wind. Wow, it's a lot more damage on the outside than the inside. It's not even noticeable on the inside. Hmm. And that there's just too much going on for me to really notice. Ah, stupid guardrail. For 
freaking rolled back into one. Seriously, why does the parking brake in this thing not work? Oh, you installed the parking brake? No, I didn't. It never bloody did. Okay, there's obviously... Okay, so why did the quirk machine say that this was a quirk, and yet it's somehow... You know what, whatever. I'm going to just assume it's because the electricity has surged through it. That's the only thing I can guess. Those repair things have no energy at all. Screw off. And I've got a broken headlight now, too. Let's go to the repair thing first. Okay, no, there is a quirk. Seriously. Okay, so there were three quirks within my car. Then why did it say, oh, diagnose the quirk? Oh, okay, quirks are gone. Yeah, obviously not. Seriously, the quirks are so annoying in this game, and there's no way to help diagnose them. Obviously, this is flicking on, so I know that. Half the time, you can't even distinguish them. No kidding, those abductors are angry. Man, they're moving fast. Yeah, I had no chance of avoiding that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Big chain reactions. Oh no. That explains why that's a tunnel. Huh. What's this? This is a new environment for a tunnel. I haven't seen an actual junction point. Huh. Not much to it, but still. Hmm. Huh. Alright. Gotta replace that bulb. Yeah, I have no chance of getting away from that abductor. It's coming straight from the car. Turned around last second, I guess. Okay, that's not nice. Thanks, jackass. You're not getting your way. What the hell is the point of a, a freaking handbrake if you have to use the actual brake? Okay, so there's one right next to the tape. Oh. Man, it's been so long since I've seen a can opener. There's core right there, but I can't go and grab it. Where's the anchor? It says it's right. Oh, I'm blind. Well, at least they're distracted on them. I can pick it up. Get the hell out. drive away. I want to try and grab that tape if I can. I think I'm far enough now. Because no, that's the problem. I'm on terrible terrain. Stupid eggs. Okay, there we go. Now it's viable. I just realized how much damage this thing sustained. Jesus. Definitely going to have to do quite a few repairs when I get back. Uh, let's not risk it. Let's just get out of here. So is it on the left or the right? It's on the right, left. I need to go left. There it is. I'll just grab it. You little shit! Just take it. I'll listen to it when I get back. I'm gonna be- I'm astonished none of my parts have broken yet. I guess it's maybe just because the intensity hasn't gotten bad enough to instantly destroy it. That works for me. Hopefully this resets all the problems that are on the map to make it a little bit easier too. Where I won't have as many hazards in the way. 
I'm surprised nothing broke. I really am. How did the zone treat you this time? Tried to kill me! What do you think? Okay, that fixed all four problems. Why is it that it goes away after only one problem appears? That's... you stupid crate! Get out of the way! It's annoying that it only does that when one problem appears. So I'm, I can only conclude that that took all of my mechanics kits, I'm guessing. All of my equipment that was up top. Uh... Honestly, I don't know. Whatever. What do you want this time? I don't care. It's still not an intentional incident. If we don't tell anyone, there are a lot of Canadians. In oh, I've already seen that one. Lou's account is one of the most damning and holds up to the best of my verification efforts. She's told that story many times and hadn't changed this story in the ensuing years. Chalk it up to good memory or deeply seated trauma, but it is, as far as I can tell, real. The stories from others, however, inspire a healthy dose of skepticism. Those who weren't too scared of government retaliation were few. And the ones who shared their stories loved their 15 minutes of fame a little too much. Any talk show or gossip rag or cheap date willing to listen heard from these types and made piecing together the zone's true history for someone like me, decades later, a migraine-inducing experience. Because these stories, as every good gossip knows, morphed over time. Oh yeah. What started as the most powerful lightning storms recorded on Earth turned into UFOs touching down. An innocent spiderweb became something to be avoided on pain of death. Hmm. A grassy lawn, left untended, became a feeding ground for something called burp bunnies. Eh? The tales became taller as the years went by. And the more I heard, the more my suspension of disbelief left me. And while the CRM disaster was only one of the many incidents that occurred over the Zone's 32-year history, it is the one I return to as a prime example. Whatever happened there in CRM is the type of disaster that caused the creation of the Exclusion Zone in the first place. We can extrapolate from what little we know of what happened here. If this is the one story to get out, how many more horrors did Lin Technology cause? Again, this is an incredibly important question here. How did all these tapes get here if these are all illustrated as recorded as after leaving the zone? How exactly is all this information getting in here that came from the outside? That's what I'm confused about. What the hell is going on? Am I in like some kind of paradoxical plane or something where time and space do not flow naturally anymore here? For all I know, I've been in here for like 83 years. Or like maybe in a couple centuries, and I come out, and all of a sudden there's magic, there's flying cars, and we have sky rises that are way up in the air. Like Jesus, it's it's something to think about, but at the same token, it's like holy crap. Hmm, this isn't one. It's actually nice to see some diversity for once in a while. Actually, a little weird. I'm not used to seeing this, especially with water this close up. Or is it because the infection of the zone is expanding due to myoconstant actions and antics? Because I'm probably causing instability all the time every time I jump. And it's just slowly been building up and spreading out. Not entirely too sure, but we'll see. The story is inevitable! Hmm. Hmm. Another one of those stupid left rights. That doesn't look like it's covering a corruption. Let's explore it real quick. TV in a trunk. Hmm. Wow, this fridge had a lot in it. Okay. That's it for that. Don't really need to scrap the TV. 
I still, I'm actually curious if I can run into any of those murals that happened. Because that's actually a good question. I have no idea if that would happen or not. Bigfoot would be interesting to see. I doubt I'd glance at it. Oh. So, you know, which there is a boat. Huh. The only thing I can think of is maybe by exploring and continuing the story, I'll actually run into these areas more frequently. But in the same token, I have absolutely no idea. Eh, I guess the hot dust is going to dictate the direction I go, because I'm not going through that. Less damage I can sustain, the sooner the better. Both for my vehicle and myself. Right, going right to the tunnel. I could have took that left and went that upper road, but eh. It's nice actually checking out something different for once. It's not much different, just the geography of the environment. But it's still nice to see something different for once. It is so hard to see. Yeah, that is a truck. Cool. More stuff. Don't mind if I do. What the hell? Where did that come from? Hot pot. Had a lot of flares, that's for sure. But what was the point? I'm confused. Oh, I'm surprised to see a healing plant here. Hmm. Uh oh. I didn't think I'd see one of these this far in. Hmm. The more you know. Eh, I'm not gonna stay to Ow! There were tourists right in front of me. God damn it. And that thing's cruising around, right? Now, fucking tourists. Chain reacting assholes. Oh, this thing heals me. I didn't know that. Didn't know this thing could heal me. That went landed right on my car. Well, thank you. Screw the tourists, freaking jackasses. None of them even dropped a crystal, it looks like. Okay, so I need to try and find my way back to the road. There are tourists everywhere. I'm not gonna bother going for that one up top. There's no point. This is way too much havoc. Plus, uh, at the storm, I have no idea when it's going to come back, come in and kick in, because this place does not have that short of time frame. So, once I can hit the road, I am gone. Yep, there's the storm. There's crystals. I'd like to get some more uh, swamp eggs so I can try and get the next... Because I know there's a few things I wanted to get, but right now I don't have the time. Uh, the zone's closing in pretty quick. Oh, come on! I was steering away from that. You know what? I got time to collect one. Okay. That'll work for now. Okay, at least low levels of radiation won't damage the car, which is nice. These boardwalks are everywhere. It's annoying, because I know, I'm assuming these boardwalks were because areas were constantly flooding. We're in a marsh, after all, so it makes sense. The water levels rise and drop all the time. Granted, it's hard to tell anymore, since most of this stuff's so destroyed and withered. It's hard to tell if it was a result of the... You fucking motherfucker. You probably just gave me another freaking cork now. God, those things are annoying as hell. I'll take a heal. Thank you. Oh, great. Okay, let's just move. Let's just move. Oh, 
puts us right on top of the road. Whatever, power through it. No, 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 I don't like these things. Grab one of the tourists. It better not be following me. It's so hard to keep track of road. How is my fuel depleting so fast? Oh, god damn, how many quirks? That's so dumb. The quirks are coming in like crazy now all of a sudden. So I know I've hardly been driving. And, I, and I've left the engine running plenty of times, so obviously there's fuel being drained. That's just damn annoying. Okay, finally made it to the exit. And a ton of hot does just to be an asshole. Okay, at least that's over with. So now I'm gonna go to the new zone. Or it's probably just another section of wall.